Hey, what's up guys? My name is Victor and welcome to my YouTube page, which is all about helping people navigate their spiritual awakening or their ascension process. And today's video is going to give you three different practical ways that you can more quickly rid yourself of social anxiety and anxiety in general. Check out my previous video I just uploaded a day or so ago that goes into three different sources of it. And just in understanding the different sources of your anxiety, it helps you a lot in the process of kind of like ridding yourself of it. So the number one thing that I believe has been the reason why I've been able to get rid of my anxiety for the most part, um, and I don't see a lot of people talking about this, it's just something I kind of learned along the way, is building up your own confidence by achieving goals that you set out for yourself. A lot of people set goals and they have the whole idea that the goal, the, the manifestation of that end result, that goal in and of itself is going to like bring them what they want. It's gonna kind of cure them, it's gonna help them feel better, it's gonna make them happy, that sort of thing. It's not the end result. It's the person you become in the process of achieving these goals. As you reach goals, small, you know, I set daily goals, short-term-ish goals, like a couple weeks within a month or so, and even long-term goals. And as you slowly start accumulating the achievements of these goals you set out for yourself, you become, it becomes a habit that you are one who reaches your goals. You get, th you, you get shit done, you, you, and that will build confidence a kind of confidence that cannot be swayed by other things. For example, a lot of people want to like get in shape. They want to like get a six pack and get really hot, a nice hot bod. And they think that's, that's why they're unconfident. They don't have the body they want. They're going to get this body. But guess what? That body can be taken away. Even if you achieve that, for one, it's not going to cause you to be happy anyway in and of itself. But sometimes you get injured. Sometimes things happen and it gets taken away. And then you're relying on something that's sometimes out of your control for a sense of happiness and confidence. But the kind of confidence you get by changing and evolving and transforming yourself in order to reach these goals is, again, a kind of confidence that nobody, no thing, no situation can ever take away. It's something within your soul and you will carry that with you in your aura at all times. So I recommend you guys set some goals. I, again, set a long-term goal. Where do you want your life to be? And aim big. Don't, don't, uh, be shy about this. You guys are light worker ascension going through type people. You can achieve shit beyond your beyond what you're going for right now, I bet. Um, so set big goals. And then break it down. Reverse engineer. Say, okay, I want uh, whatever it is. And then you say, okay, what needs to happen for that to happen? Who do I need to be? What kind of habits do I need to embody? What sort of routine do I have to have within my day? Um, what little mini steps have to be taken in order to get there. And you break it down and you set yourself like three month goals. And then again, you know, every day, every night really, I write down my date, my like to-do list for the next day. And it just helps, it helps keep me focused because we get so scattered all the time. You start checking these little things off every day. It's a habit, you, you get your, your goals done and over time you're gonna look back after a year and you're gonna be blown away at who you are and what you've achieved. And that will give you confidence that even while you're dealing with your anxiety, that anxiety is going to become less potent and just have less of an effect on you. The, the new you is going to kind of take hold and be more of the dominant influence in your day-to-day -day interpersonal experience. And number two is meditation. This is kind of one you might have suspected, I would say, but it does help a lot. And it helps for the reasons that people might not, a lot of people give up on meditation because it makes them feel worse. You know, usually when you have like a daily meditative practice, once in a while, you just naturally and easily slip into the meditative state and it feels great. And you just assume that's how it's always going to go. But meditation, all that does is teaching you to be more conscious, more aware, more in the moment. And as you do that, as you become more grounded, more aware in the moment, you become more aware of all your baggage. So that people start to associate meditation with feeling kind of crummy and, a lot of, and then they judge themselves. Wow, yesterday I was in the Zen-like state and now I feel this way. I feel like I wasted all my time. But that's, that's the whole transformative way it goes with the, meditative, with the meditation thing. It just makes you more aware of your stuff. But the more aware you can become of all the things that are causing the anxiety in the first place, the more quickly you can deal with it. You can't deal with the problem that's... Um, that you're not aware of. Find any kind of meditative practice that resonates. There's like mantra meditations, which I like to do. You can use tools like binaural beats, or I, I use a singing bowl all the time. 
You can do, uh, there's a million different ways you can meditate. Just look it up online. I'll make a video about that soon. Three is exercise and not for the reason you might be thinking. Again, I'm not saying to exercise so you can build this like hot body that's gonna make you happy. No, the exercise in and of itself brings you more into your body. It brings you more into alignment. It releases endorphins naturally. It just puts you in a better, more positive state of being. And that is a powerful force against your anxiety. You might feel really worked up and anxious after work, but if you go to the gym and, and bust your ass for an hour doing some heavy lifting or something, you're going to leave feeling better, less anxious, more ah, relaxed in the zone, less in your head. A lot of times when we are provoked with anxiety, we, we, we uh, start thinking about it all the time and it starts getting into our head. And then the, the, we're going through with this emotional chaos combined with this heady experience and it's sort of a difficult state of being to zap out of. And exercise is good for zapping you out of that. I personally think strength training is the best type of exercise type for that because just in all my experience as a personal trainer for a long time, that is just the type of exercise that seems to have that like awesome positive mind frame effect better than anything else. But that's just me, experiment. Find something that does the trick for you. And again, I mentioned this in my first video, but lastly, just make friends with your anxiety. Look at it as a tool. Look at it as a means of acquiring the right insight as to the source of it. And in doing so, you can get rid of it for good. You have the opportunity now in this lifetime to get rid of all of your anxiety. And you're gonna have a chance to literally jump out of all of it be clean and pure and crisp and absent of all of it. Regardless of how intensely you're feeling it in this moment, you will transcend it if you want to. What most people have been doing is trying to deny it, suppress it, and numb it. And I'm, I'm guilty of that. I've done all of those things. I was a heroin addict, that got rid of it, that numbed it. And then when I got off heroin for a little while, I took like antidepressants and that sort of made it go away a little bit. And then thirdly, I would distract myself. I would like get, I would eat a lot of fun food or I would like play video games or whatever, whatever stupid, I, I found little like stupid little ways to distract myself from it, to ignore it. I would just avoid situations that provoked anxiety. But that none of those things are really a solution. They're a temporary band-aid that's just gonna kinda keep you always stooped in your anxiety. Because we're living in a time where you're gonna attract to yourself situations that will provoke that anxiety. You can't run from it anymore. Those techniques I just mentioned, are they don't work really anymore, if you haven't noticed. And you can't, you can't stop it. It's, it's, a, it's a changing of the energies. You're gonna feel yourself magnetized to situations that are gonna trigger you and make you aware of all these things. But you could be more of a conscious participant in the whole thing so you don't have to just get, you literally get pulled into these like chaotic explosions of like social interactions that are incredibly uncomfortable, more kind of messy. You affect other people when you do that. You can just kind of do all this in the privacy of your own home. You might have little situations unfold here and there, but if you just become more of a willing participant, then you could absolve yourself of the social anxiety very, very quickly.